Today is the 26th of May, 2022. Thanks for tuning in to my official YouTube channel. Make sure to subscribe to my official YouTube channel as well as like my official YouTube videos. If you're going to leave a comment, make sure to have etiquette and respect. And go to my website, www.susanmeeling.com, which is also www.ladydorybell.com, the exact same one and only. So yesterday and today, so the 25th and the 26th of May, 2022, there has been the report as to the unfortunate shooting in Uvalde, Texas. My condolences to the families and friends of the individuals that have been impacted by that particular situation. I do have the sentiments in regards of prior situations regarding what I had brought forward in the years of 2008 into 2009, into 2010, and into 2011, as well as 2013, before publishing my first two books, Finding a Silver Lining and Finding the Silver Lining, thankfully through the Amazon company after copywriting, as I have with my books, and reference to which you can find on my website, www.susanmeeling.com, or the same as www.ladydorybell.com. In the book section, you can go through that for the specific Amazon links to go and purchase those books. If you didn't have the Dropbox links that were released in the year of 2015, so for those who don't understand what I'm referring to, because this is the year of 2022 in comparison to 2008 through the year of 2012, more specifically, though also 2013, I had to take care of my son and my daughter whose biological father had died during the year of 2008 due to a mixed medication overdose after he had certain mental health disorders that I had made attempts to inform my biological mother, my biological father, and my biological sister about. Instead, those individuals wanted to focus on the after effects of my head injury from Palm Sunday in 2000, where I had a subarachnoid hemorrhage in the frontal lobe of my brain that took eight and a half years to dissipate in comparison to the fact that my children's biological father, my now dead ex-husband, who had shot himself with a 22 uh, pistol in an area that my biological father had driven him to Fort Sam Houston to be seen at the emergency room at what is now called San Antonio Medical Center, but at that time was called the Brook Army Medical Center. I had made attempts in multiple situations, including with my ex-in-laws, to bring that forward in reference to their dead relative which they wanted to choose as they had chosen in this particular reference of. In addition to that, I had brought it to the attention of Wilford Hall staff members as to how I wound up off of the military installation at Fort Sam Houston in the time frame that was called Medical Hold Unit, and now it is known as Warrior Transition Unit. In this particular reference as to the multitude of situations that in the civilian sector, I had brought forward a multitude of times as far as the various circumstances. So while the individuals that I had made multiple attempts to get the assistance, not just for myself, not just for my son, not just for my daughter, from the years of 2001 through 2008, though also in reference to 2008 through 2012, which I will get to in a particular reference in a moment. So while the multitude of situations that I made attempts to bring forward, 
My biological mother, my biological father, and my biological sister only wanted to focus on the fact that he had graduated basic training in comparison to how I didn't graduate basic training and their viewpoint in reference to that Mandarin sort of view as to the pretties regarding that cherubim factor. For those who understand the religious reference, which for those who don't, the original death angel was a hideous skull with a horrific set of wings in regards of what came out of its back. In comparison, over the years in the United States of America, they wanted to prettify death. And so they got these cherubim faces, which they didn't pay attention to, as to the references in the actual biblical scriptures that the cherubim were demonic because they would have these cute little faces and these pretty little wings that were feathers or what have you and instead they led you to destruction in comparison to the what was considered as gruesome, but beauty is in the eye of the beholder. So that truth factor, no matter how ugly a truth may be, it is far prettier than any sugar-coated covered lie that would be in the reference of that cherubim viewpoint for that comparative understanding. Now, while my biological mother, biological father, and biological sister had deluded themselves into believing that the basic training situation was more important in comparison to the truth, in the year of 2000, they were informed as to how the justice of the peace occurred. In 2001, they knew that I gave birth to my son. They were actually at Wilford Hall during the time frame of. In conjunction, they obviously knew about the birth of my daughter in 2002. The birth of my son was one and a half years from waking up from my coma, and the birth of my daughter was two and a half years from waking up from my coma from my head injury on Palm Sunday in 2000 when I was in basic training. And so, while I had made multitudes of attempts, <clears throat> most people wanted to pay attention to the fact that I had a head injury on Palm Sunday in 2000 in comparison to the truth that was quite hideous. So while I did what I could to keep my son and my daughter and I safe, during those years, despite, yes, there was the first and second, which was the final separation, in which I had to do a multitude of things in the attempts to keep my son and my daughter and I safe, which includes where my now dead ex-husband had actually locked my son and my daughter and I in a room after I had gone to protect them. Any time that I went to get my son and my daughter in whichever room of theirs, he would shut the door and tie the door shut. I would make attempts to rip it open after getting my son and daughter underneath a bed to keep them safe. However, by the time I got to the door, there was just this very small amount that any tugging on could do anything. And then by the time that allowed out, there were the strings that were attached to whichever area of whichever doorknob that was found in those particular references. And it didn't matter which room in regards of my son or my daughter, I did what I could to keep them both safe while at the same time of dealing with what I dealt with before getting them to safety. Even though my biological mother and biological father knew about in the year of 2005 where I was unconscious in the backyard and he himself had told them what he had done because of their viewpoint, because I didn't graduate basic training, their commentary was as their commentary was. This, in my opinion, 
caused quite a few of needless problems to my son and my daughter and I, obviously not just in reference to the amount of times I had to physically do what I could to keep my son, my daughter, and I safe. However, the mental health situations, not just for my son and my daughter's safety, though also in reference to how, even though in the year of 2004, which is obviously before the year of 2005, my biological father had literally driven my now dead ex-husband to Fort Sam Houston, which I was in Seguin, Texas, at that time with a group of females when having received a phone call at Jamie's house, which was also Steve's house, although if I remember correctly, it was actually Jamie's parents' house in Seguin, Texas, in reference to my now dead ex-husband having shot himself with a 22. However, my biological mother and my biological father and my biological sister's opinions during those time frames were that was as it was in comparison to taking care of the situations correctly. However, in my opinion, if you have mental health disorders of your own, the possibilities of certain situations to actually be capable to review things in an unbiased, without emotional factors involved when giving the particular information, though acknowledging the emotional factors of, is important because of needing to state the biases, though if you need to go without stating biases, you have to do that in a capacity in which you don't go into anything except for the facts because the facts are important to make sure the clear understanding and then as time progresses, later you are capable to bring forward the emotional factors as well as the opinions and the biases so that way there's not that misconstruing which i'm going to guesstimate in the years of 2019 possibly even through to this year of 2022 that same ignorance in that hypothetical would be in those capacities so in reference to the uvalde situation in, and again, my condolences to the families and friends of from the news reports that I have listened to regarding Fox News on YouTube and a few commentary situations in reference to those particular factors regarding just the time frame from 2000 through 2004 have been important to bring forward which I have made multiple attempts to. Now, in the years of 2019, 2020, and 2021, through my updates on my journal blog, The Ornery PSA, on my website, www.susanmeeling.com, also known as www.ladydorybell.com, the capability to review those informational points as to what my grandpa Gavit had discussed, what my grandma Gavit had discussed, what my biological mother's half-siblings would be capable to bring forward in reference to my biological mother and the way her choices and actions and behaviors have been in conjunction to my biological father's choices and actions as far as patterns of behavior. Now, in addition to those half-siblings, so too would their spouses and children, depending on the particular individual, which I would guesstimate in regards of my biological mother's half-sister, Edie, and her second husband, Mark, certain aspects and attributes that would be in regards of the so-called attitude adjustment might be capable to see in a different light at this particular point in time in the year of 2022 in comparison to the year of 2000 regarding his comment about an attitude adjustment after my head injury on Palm Sunday in 2000 when I was on convalescent leave at that point in time in comparison to that same sort of lack of common sense regarding in the year of 1998 
after the knowledge as to Baptist Camp Lebanon and those particular choices of words in regards of the lack of common sense as well as the lack of human decency because of attention-seeking behavior, which in this particular reference regarding Uvalde, Texas, the individual Beto Rourke, I believe is the name, having decided to go and speak during the time frame when Texas Governor Greg Abbott, as well as the other individuals in reference to Uvalde, Texas, and those other factors of the employees and staff members making an attempt to explain various factors and the jumping up as far as that's concerned. That same sort of correlative viewpoint as far as time is important to etiquette regarding if you are going to make a statement and having compassion for the individuals involved to do so. Now, in reference to the mental health situation that has been going on for quite a few decades, again, in the reference as to when I had been allowed because of the poster situation that I had created a oceanic cleanup poster, and when I could meet then Governor Christine Todd Whitman in the year of 1996, while I could have asked a multitude of questions to Governor Christine Todd Whitman, I had a friend at the time, which her mom had worked at the only mental health institution in the state of Texas, and they were looking at closing that mental health institution, which I was concerned as to the mental health situations back in that time frame, because those who know the demographics in reference to Marlboro Township, Manalapan Township, and Freehold Township regarding the children that were given a multitude of medications over that time frame for mental health because of the situations not just in reference to school, though the parental factors and situations I've brought forward beforehand, I made the choice to ask Governor Christine Todd Whitman what would be a review and or idea to bring forward a better way for the mental health situation that I could easily see had been progressing. In that reference to the Uvalde, Texas, 25 May 2022 situation, the poignant aspects as to the various social media posts shortly before the factors of and then I believe, if I remember correctly, it's Jesse Waters who had brought up the clean slate reference because of the youth and the capability to purchase a firearm. I am a large supporter of the Second Amendment. I have always been a large proponent in support of the United States of America's Constitution and amendments as far as the rights thereof. The situations in regards to a possibility to take into consideration in reference to firearm situations would be to review the factors as to what individuals have been watching regarding whichever pop culture references in that similarity regarding what they particularly pay more attention to in regards of video games and computer games in conjunction to their choices in life as to whether or not they are responsible when they have situations occur and what the responsibility choices are in those particular references. So if in situations where they need to be responsible, though they choose to go and push things off to the side in comparison to stepping forward and actually having mature adult, responsible etiquette and respectful types of discussions with the situations at hand, in person, face-to-face, -face, in person, regarding those factors, 
Obviously, that would be a combined set of situations to take into consideration as far as the mental health factors, since if I am correct, it was Jesse Waters who brought up, it may have been Greg Gutfeld though, because they were talking, I believe, on the five in reference to the male gender biologically as to the situations, if I remember correctly, it was Greg Gutfeld who had brought up that he had looked at the four past mass shootings and they were all males with mental health situations. So the possibility in reference to reviewing that would be important as a plausible factor as to paying attention to the various patterns of behavior, as well as the different commentary that especially in regards of typing, because it takes far more effort to type than it does to speak. And while the leniency in regards of speaking, depending on the situation, whether the individual is known to have chronic pain or an injury or whatever the possibilities of, to those references regarding audible speech, in comparison to how much more effort it actually takes to type because you have to form a cohesive sentence, and or if you utilize acronyms, then the correct acronym being utilized, which in my opinion, probably takes a little bit more of the brain capacity to put correctly put the acronym because of whatever the acronym might stand for as far as one or two letters off changing the specific reference in that acronym, in that hypothetical. However, it still takes quite a bit to make sure in the typed reference. Now, I also understand that there are audible dictative sort of situations for the capacity of. That, in my opinion, if you listen after having given the audio for that dictation, is the equivalent in reference to typing because you review it the same way in the regards of. So if you, in whatever dictative sort of reference for typing, have the program replay it back to you, and then you click send in reference to whether a text message and or whatever posting online, then obviously it would be the same sort of capacity as far as the amount of energy to put that forward in the comparison of a discussion on the phone or in person, face-to-face -face in person, or through the messaging in regards of how certain video chats can be. So in my opinion, that would be something to take into consideration. Then when you add the reference points as to the mental health situation that I brought up in the year of 2008, well after the time frames of from 2000, because I did inform people in the year of 2000 through 2008, after the situations at Fort Sam Houston in regards of the CID interrogation, as I went up the chain of command, including to the time frame in Major General Gilman's office and those three soldiers in that reference. That is going to be a different reference point to the mental health situations because obviously when various people in the civilian sector do not pay attention to the facts that since the year of 2001, obviously after the attacks of 11 September 2001, the amount of soldiers who had repeatedly been sent overseas in a similar capacity and yet different to the Vietnam War because of those who had dodged the draft, those particular individuals who then wanted to have whatever commentary in the comparison of actually paying attention to the situations similarly and yet differently in this more modern time reference. So while I could have at that point in time in Major General Gilman's office had a different response, in regards of after having handed back the Bronze Star 
as well as the folder regarding because of the situations. I thought it was more important for those three individuals to be capable in their own words to discuss the situation so that way they would be capable to verbalize the situations as to what they were dealing with. I personally knew that they had not been on U.S. soil for longer than seven days because of the way the situation went in reference to the time frame that Major General Gilman had brought it to my attention that the individuals from Iraq had been on U.S. soil. I thought it was more important for those individuals to be capable to verbalize the situations for them to have that assistance. Similarly, earlier in that year, regarding when I had taken the podium after Major General Gilman had made it available, so that way during the memorial service that my son and my daughter were capable to see in reference to medical hold unit turned transit warrior transition unit to have those individuals that were in the basement chapel listen if they had to the particular situations so that way they themselves additionally would be capable in a different capacity than the three soldiers in Major General Gilman's office. However, in certain similarities, be capable to step forward and get the assistance that they needed to prepare themselves for the civilian sector because of the knowledge of the varying degrees between my ex-in-laws as well as my biological mother, biological father, and biological sister, as well as the various associated types. And because of the fact that you need to be capable to take care of yourself in order to be capable to assist others, in that reference point, I thought it was important to take that stand might not be considered the most conventional way, though realistically my life has been far from conventional. So in reference to the situations regarding the year of 2008, I made attempts regarding McCoy Elementary School to actually get my daughter the assistance that she needed. In comparison, those staff members and adult volunteers, I suppose biologically I should say adults, wanted to focus instead of on the actual situation that my daughter and her brother, their biological father had died earlier that year. Those adult supposedly biologically volunteers as well as staff members decided to tell my son and my daughter their political opinions as to the situation regarding their biological father's death in comparison to making it a safe environment for my son and my daughter in conjunction to their political beliefs that they decided to tell my son and my daughter in school, in comparison to actually paying attention to the fact that while they were discussing their political beliefs, they were literally reiterating their dead father to their face in comparison to paying attention to the actual subject points regarding the educational system. In turn, while I made attempts as their one and only surviving parent, additionally the one who actually carried them and delivered them after labor, you know how that is regarding how biological birth goes. So in that particular reference, the staff and the supposed to be adult, though biologically only in my particular opinion, because of instead of focusing in the correct capacities, 
those biological adult volunteers, as well as staff members regarding McCoy Elementary School at Carrollton Farmers Branch Independent School District, decided to pay more attention to politics in comparison to the education system that they were supposed to focus on. The kindergarten teacher and I agreed for my daughter. Then there were the other people. So while the principal, because similarly having gone up the chain of command, while the principal decided to say children will be children, well, biological adults are not children, no matter how much they might wish. Maybe that commercial they may have watched a few too many times, stuck in their head in an MK Ultra way in that particular reference, which it doesn't change the fact that when you're a biological adult, you're a biological adult. And so once you reach the age of 18 years old, at the very latest, 21 years old, you're a biological adult. So it's not even act as it, be it, is the reality. It goes back to that saying, don't try, just do it. Well, in comparison, don't act like an adult, be one. It's very simple. So in that particular reference, again, my condolences to the Uvalde area of Texas, in that regard of the year of 2008 into 2009, I made multiple attempts to get my daughter the assistance in the special needs education. However, those particular viewpoints and then, of course, that lack of common sense regarding similar to my biological mother, biological father, and biological sister in the conjunction aspects as to their political viewpoints, then was the commentary as to how I physically look in reference to my hairstyle, my hair color, and my tattoos in comparison to paying attention to the fact that I had actually been being responsible and taken care of as best as possible despite the lack of assistance in every aspect with the exception of the stipends in comparison. So while very much grateful for those stipends in reference to my medical retirement, I don't like saying disability, it's a personal issue, I don't deny it. However, the facts of the after effects from my head injury on Palm Sunday in 2000, as to the amount of time of eight and a half years and the subsequent damages from the subarachnoid hemorrhage in the frontal lobe of my brain. I also don't know if there's any damage when somebody is in a coma as to the neurological factors. However, I also deal with headaches and migraines and memory deficits and cognitive disorders as I went from college algebra with trigonometry and calculus to second grade math from what my second grade would be in comparison to the areas of the state of Texas because of the differences in the educational system as to the requirements for learning from the knowledge to understand and comprehend. So then <laughs> in the year of 2009, when the situations from 2008 into 2009, before my daughter had been hospitalized at that particular reference, even though I had made multiple attempts after the school district therapy, which the ARD and IEP situations that were ignored wrongly because those people needed to take responsibility because their accountability for their stupidity was important and still remains important. So then in the year of 2010, after the Fort Worth Zoo situation, those particular factors as to those biological adult volunteers 
as to their lack of common sense, as to taking care of the situations in which their choices are as what their choices were. And so in turn, despite the fact that maybe some people had known that I had earned 26 scuba diving certifications, and in comparison to the individuals at International Scuba, as well as scuba toys regarding the two schools within Carrollton, Texas, if they had actually been responsible scuba divers in comparison to civilian recreational scuba divers, the choices as to through the technological factors as to whatever hypotheticals thereof were and or are, are capable to be found in those records because there are a multitude of locations that each technological record would be. And so while I made attempts in reference to not only regarding from 2008 into 2009 into 2010 and 2011 and 2012 and 2013 regarding my daughter's mental health as well as as best as I could for my son's mental health because of the connected situations as to the stress of having his little sister going through that while being the older brother and then me being a single mom though also a legal widow because of the situations despite the second and final separation, the facts that individuals had not paid attention to those important details have been brought forward more recently, obviously, in a clearer way because of having to do the updates to clarify and verify. And while it might be considered an inconvenient set of truths, it doesn't change the fact that it's still the truth. Nonetheless, when you add the factors as to the civilian recreational scuba diving sector, if those individuals had actually taken accountability for their stupidity, in my opinion, as far as what their responsibility had to be, because while being just someone who earned 26 scuba diving certifications, though at that time a total of whatever number regarding over 20 scuba diving certifications. After the point in time as to Cancun Cozumel, I had made multiple attempts in person, face to face in person, regarding the individual who had caught a poofy fish. Well, I don't know what the mental health situation for that particular individual had been before the time frame as to Cozumel. Don't have any idea. Made multiple attempts to the in-person, face-to-face in-person. In addition, I made multiple attempts to international scuba in Carrollton, Texas. Personally, I did not have any comfort regarding scuba toys because of my prior experience. Because even though there are obviously more than one scuba diver as far as scuba dive instructor and employee of at scuba toys during the year of 2009 due to the situation that i dealt with not only in the month of january 2009 possibly december 2008 i was not willing to walk into that shop of scuba toys because of the situations i had personally dealt with additionally at the various locations where there were the facts as to the common area and there only being so many locations to do scuba diving classes for scuba diving certifications. So in regards of there only being so many locations, the usual one being Clear Spring Scuba Park, though also additionally Huntsville, quarry in the state of Texas, as well as Aquarina Hot Springs, though that's only for open water scuba diving from what I was informed of, as well as the possibility of advanced open water scuba diving, though I had additionally earned my underwater naturalist scuba diving certification, which was directly out of the Aquarina Hot Springs area. Now, 
because of what I personally had dealt with as an unattached female, biologically, scuba diver in the year of 2009. And what I dealt with because of being an unattached female scuba diver, earning the 26 scuba diving certifications as I had, the only female scuba diver, scuba diver instructor that I had met was fortunately and yet unfortunately in the time frame of my cavern scuba diving certification. Alessandra, although for the longest time I have been calling her Carmen and I don't know why, it might be because I can acknowledge one of my favorite shows as a child, this is the dork that I was, had been where in the world is Carmen San Diego? And there is the irony that I actually was supposed to go to the Catalina Islands for a scuba dive, which the flight was going, if I remember, going to go from DFW to San Diego. And then I think I was informed of her having worked out of Carmen del Playa, if I remember. So I can make a joke. <laughs> Albeit, you know, two thirds of a pun, and then anybody who knows how scuba diving is, there's that two thirds. <laughs> Nonetheless, I had the blessing of having met, as I learned her name being Alessandra, in comparison to Carmen. So I think that the irony, I think that's probably, you know what, in this year, 2022, I believe that might be a cognitive disorder situation regarding that because she probably told me that she worked out of Carmen del Playa. Uh, I remembered the cenotes. I don't know where the cenotes are. And so memory deficits, I'm going to guesstimate in that particular situation. However, also because it was less than a full two months since I had landed at the bottom of the ocean and the scuba dive regarding the USS, USNS General Hoyt S. Vandenberg, which she had very much informed me of quite a few situations that she, as a cave and cavern scuba dive instructor and in the area of Mexico, um, having dealt with certain factors. So it was essentially two sides of the exact same coin despite the situation, and I suppose there is a bit of an irony as to the Texas-Mexican war situation regarding that particular factor because Ali, or Alessandra, is the individual that each of us for that particular scuba dive trip in September, uh, towards the end of September in 2009, had been informed to the three of us. So there were two males and me as a female. We were all informed that Ali was being, uh, tr being capable to travel to the United States of America to teach and instruct the Cavern Scuba Diving Certification course in comparison to Richard Thomas, who had been a instructor, though he had only gone to the cenotes and went to see Allie because of her having been his cavern scuba dive tour guide in comparison. And so in a prior official YouTube video of mine, I brought forward that particular uh, scuba dive certification card, which I can bring up yet again because of the facts in reference to that situation regarding um, those particular factors. And so, you know, that's the particular information regarding that. And so while my cavern scuba diving certification card in that reference should have the same certification, which I can bring that up, hold on. I can prove that additionally because of having earned quite a few certifications where um, 
the individual was Richard Thomas, though there are the factors as to how um, a Richard Trout or what have you instead. So, um, In that particular reference. Now, I know that sometimes there are twins that do scuba diving similarly to other factors, so, but you can see the difference regarding the numbers, which is something to take into consideration. Now, let me show the other side just for that particular factor because there's the obvious importance regarding. Um, the information to be correct. And so if there was a needless game in reference to that particular factor because of whatever choices thereof in comparison, scuba diving is a life or death situation if you take it seriously. So either you have a safe descent, a safe scuba dive, and a safe ascent, or you don't. There's no in-between. So while you can have certain situations that can be a gray area as to whether or not the scuba dive itself will be as it will be, that's why you have insurance. And so I had at that time in the year of 2009, Dan insurance, because I wanted to make sure that if anything happened, I would have the medevac situation. I would be capable to have the hyperbaric chamber as needed. I additionally would have the capability for any medical treatment that would be required at any point in time at all from my scuba diving because of being a responsible scuba diver and knowing better for myself. Now, I also knew that my style of scuba diving was not a recreational type of scuba diving. I knew that my scuba diving was not a lazy type of scuba diving. You don't earn 26 scuba diving certifications from the time frame of in the actual time frame of February through September, though by technicalities into October. Nonetheless, you don't do that if you are considered a recreational scuba diver, nor do you do that if you are considered a lazy scuba diver. You're only considered a lazy scuba diver or a recreational scuba diver if you view scuba diving as a recreation and if you view scuba diving in a lazy capacity. Individuals who do not view it in that capacity are simply civilian scuba divers if they don't have the direct military aspect. So if they are a dependent that goes scuba diving, they're a civilian scuba diver. If they have the capacities of regarding military and or law enforcement and or fire department and or EMS, those individuals are capable to distinguish for themselves whether they are doing a military scuba dive or a law enforcement scuba dive or a fire department scuba dive or a EMS scuba dive compared to a recreational scuba dive while being in the civilian sector. There's that obvious understanding in some capacity of, because obviously somebody who has a military scuba dive training for an example, you have the, I call them MRARs, I know that they're MARSOC, but you know, and I am how I am, and so I'm wrong, because they go wrong. <laughs> that is the closest to fluffiness that I can be, and so, you know, <laughs> 
And yet, at the same time, they know that they, in a much more sort of way, <laughs> when they are doing their work, they are in comparison. Yes, I know they wear socks. I get that. I can make the joke. That's fine. And yet, they still go when, <laughs> but much more aggressively. So this is the fluffiest I can be. <laughs> Then, yes, I know that they're the recon guys as far as that type of military aspect for the Navy in that reference. And then there's the Navy guys. And, you know, <laughs> again, that's as fluffy as I can be in regards to, I mean, I, I, I might be capable to be fluffier. Individuals I once knew in person, face to face in person, would be capable to distinguish whether or not I could be fluffier than that when it comes to biological adults. As far as my son and my daughter, when they were children, well, you know, being a mom is being a mom, so that's very different. <laughs> However, you know, still, still had rules, still had, you know, and then as they grew up, as the time went, and so. But the biological adult aspect, there is that capacity of. So accountability and responsibility are important. And so in those references regarding that knowledge of the difference, well, there is the knowledge that those civilian recreational scuba divers had asked me about going scuba diving in an underground missile silo in the state of Texas. Now, I don't know when people began scuba diving in underground missile silos for what they claimed was fun. However, I had, a, I had personally an adversary to people going scuba diving in an underground missile silo without doing so under certain conditions. I have a very lengthy list as to the actualities for a safer version of scuba diving in underground missile silos. However, uh, those individuals made the choices that they made because of, you know, the well, you only live once, Susan, you know, you're so, like, you're such a square, you know, why, you're so not a cool scuba diver, this is what I was told, you're not a cool scuba diver, you're such a square, you take scuba diving so seriously, yeah, 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 imagine that, <laughs> I mean, I'm just, I'm just a mom at that time of two children in elementary school, the only parent that my son and my daughter had as far as that was concerned and so yeah imagine i take scuba diving seriously on top of the addition of the knowledge as to how i was earning my scuba diving certifications and how i had explained in reference to my childhood and my teenage years going out to the jersey shore at that point but you know those those civilian recreational scuba divers you know, the equivalent of hearing, you're such a mom, Lady Dory Bell, in the various areas of the supposed to be consenting adult lifestyle. And yet again, at the exact same time, I was still a mom because that didn't change. <laughs> Though I grew up hearing that as a child, Susan, you're such a mom. You sound like such a mom when you talk. So, you know. <laughs> and that was in a multitude of areas, so that is as it is. <laughs> Nonetheless, those civilian recreational scuba divers, I don't know when they decided to go scuba diving as they claim for fun in an underground missile silo. However, if there is a correlation as to the time frame that began, and most likely I'm going to guesstimate there could be an alignment in reference to the SSI scuba divers who probably similarly to me, or maybe I don't know, that could 
look at that viewpoint of going scuba diving in an underground missile silo as not necessarily the smartest capacity of. I am not the smartest crayon in the toolbox. I went from college algebra with trigonometry and calculus to second grade math. However, I was listening to a TED talk around the year of 2017 recently in which E equals MC square had been discussing putting in a hyperloop underground. And so um, I don't know whether or not he took in consideration of nuclear power plants and or underground missile silos and or the possibility of there being some volcanic area because that's what mountains are. So I don't know if he had looked into that as a possibility. I have a few recommendations. However, that's on E equals MC square. <laughs> and that possibility of a discussion regarding those particular factors because in the year of 2015 or 2016, I had posted on my original FetLife account pictures because I didn't want to put that on Facebook. Not, I, I did put it on Facebook, but I did it in a different capacity, though in the reference of, if I remember correctly, but I wanted to make sure it was more along the lines of the adult biologically aspect because of responsibility, because of those particular situations, because of the knowledge and understanding. And so in those references of what I created as to the underwater travel system because there's a difference regarding in the ground. However, since there's that Keystone Pipeline situation, that might be something to take into consideration as well. I'm not certain. I'm not the individual who would know that. However, those particular situations to think about because there's also those underground caverns. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And so, you know. <laughs> so, in those references, E equals MC square had brought up the depth as to underground caverns. And so, since I landed at the bottom of the ocean in the Atlantic area of the ocean, when going to the USS, USNS General Hoyt S. Vandenberg, those civilian recreational scuba divers regarding my cavern scuba diving certification and then my instructor that I knew was my instructor, Allie, my mistake for calling her Carmen and then Carmen, not Carmen because of making attempts to remember because of the acknowledgement in those regards, if Ali or Alessandra had brought forward multitudes of times in reference to Richard Thomas, Richard Trout, whatever the aspects of, it doesn't really matter. The factors of the situations as to the pouting and moping in those particular references as can be seen in those regards, um, Ali knew, and so there are those factors of the vindication in reference to that situation, because that reality regarding those situations from the Vandenberg, which also had to do, as I had explained at that time frame, as to the individual regarding the catching of the poofy fish or the puffer fish. And so while individuals at International Scuba made whatever choices they made, as far as the instructors and or whatever, as far as that's concerned, and then the additional situations regarding at the time frame of 2009, how I had made multiple attempts from even at the time of in Cancun, Cozumel, having informed that particular individual that he was going to need assistance because of the poofy fish, 
I had authored about it in my three volume book series, The Adventures of Susan Mealing's Scuba Diver Extraordinaire, which you can find in my book section for the links on my website, www.susanmuling.com, also known as www.ladydorybell.com. So those particular references as to the multitude of situations that I was personally dealing with on my own um, during those time frames, which at an event, I think it was the year of 2010, though it might have been 2011, there was a bruise situation regarding my leg that had to do with the Vandenberg scuba dive. Though similarly to how that situation was in the year of 2009 regarding Cozumel, you know, I did what I could to heal myself as best as I could, no differently than what I was dealing with from the year uh, well, from around October of 2000 through to December of 2000, then in reference to that Justice of the Peace situation, and then in the years of 2001 through 2008, because anybody who's been in a situation such as that knows those particular factors that it didn't matter between the first and second as well as final separation, as Cactus Jack, also known as Jeffrey Kirkendall Jr., despite that needless problem situation in regards of the garage, though also Thomas Marsden in reference to the year of 2004, in conjunction to the females of the Jade Wolf Coven and the San Antonio Pagan community, as they were informed in those references and so while whatever capacities of that you take in consideration the Excalibur Fair and that regarding those situations, um, the, the mental health situation to actually take care of, in my opinion, has to do with the simplicity of the Ten Commandments. And while some people have their viewpoints as to whatever their opinions are, the Ten Commandments are still the Ten Commandments. So, you know, in regards of thou shalt not blaspheme my name, well, that goes again in reference to thou shalt not slander or liable. Uh, thou shalt not take my name in vanity, ending all types of stolen valor, which stolen valor includes identity, and those particular factors that, you know, my ex-in-laws have had problems with. You can look at my ex-sister-in-law, Susie Marie Nichols Lopez, and the, until she got remarried to Sweeney or Sweetie in that reference, and her particular situations in conjunction to Mary Evangelina Nichols Osteen in reference to my Blue ID card, the original one, as far as of and for the armed forces of the United States of America. And when you have parents, if you want to call that that, such as David Osteen and Mary Osteen, if it was in regards of Sandra Marie Osteen and or Ariel Nicole Osteen, those types of parental supposedly aspects have needed to actually make their children take accountability for their stupidity because that's their responsibility as if they are actual responsible parents in comparison. Similarly to how my grandpa Gavit had informed my grandma Gavit as to what should have been done in regards of my biological mother. Similarly to how Asher Holmes Elementary School had told Mike and Anna about my biological sister Patricia and those problems in regards to her issues. So then there's the repeated factors to bring forward in regards of the discussions that I had listened to regarding the mental health problems in reference to the Uvalde, Texas shooting. Again, my condolences regarding the families and friends in that reference, as well as the city and surrounding cities that obviously were impacted in conjunction to the state of Texas. 
So in that particular regard, where would you take in consideration McCoy Elementary School and those factors as to how certain situations have been in conjunction to the other factors that you can review in those references. Then you take in the additional situation as to, I don't know how long there have been individuals who have been going scuba diving in underground missile silos for whatever capacities of, and the impact to the natural water supply. Though, in addition to that, there are, the, the, there are those who are various levels of PhDs who know about certain factors in reference to the chemical compounds in regards to a location such as an underground missile silo and those particular health impacts to the viewpoint of. And so while I'm not certain as to the specific terminology in those references, I am fairly certain there are those who have that particular background and are capable to explain that in a far more detailed way to assist with those particular factors. So in the wrapping up of this particular official YouTube video of mine, do subscribe to my official YouTube channel so you can get those notifications in regards of a new video upload from my official YouTube videos to my official YouTube video channel and go to my website www.susanmeeling.com also known as www.ladydorybell.com same it's one and the same those particular situations as to how those types of those people have needed to take accountability in reference to their stupidity in my particular opinion because that is their responsibility and so those that have made whatever choices well again in reference to the uvalde texas shooter there's the reference point to look at the social media though not just the social media posting what would be in reference when you take in consideration it was probably a cell phone that was used so if you look at the cell phone programs that are associated with the connecting factors as to whatever was streamed and or reviewed and or liked the comments so on and so forth text messages phone calls and or however that might be in conjunction to what was reviewed regarding what television shows what movies what possibilities as to sports or electives as far as school in that reference in conjunction to where and what was the normalcy because while there is the factor as to how those ten commandments such as thou shalt not lie thou shalt not bear false witness thou shalt not covet what is not thou there are those situations to take in consideration because of that mental health situation. And so while some individuals might not have thought about that, I've made attempts over the decades to bring that forward in the various situations of, so in reference to this sermon monologue lecture regarding my official YouTube video of my official YouTube channel, that is a combined set of situations to take into that consideration to review because there is that etiquette and respect. And for those who remember, as far as discussions in person, face to face in person, as well as in regards of my writing, there were the Patriot writers that had chosen to go along with the reference to from Fort Sam Houston out to Laurel Land Funeral Home. And those Patriot writers that had taken a stand because of those types of people similarly regarding McCoy Elementary School as to those particular factors, well, yes, it was more than three days from the time frame as to the situations regarding my son and my daughter's biological father's death it does not change the fact, though, 
that my son and my daughter were minors at the time frame of. While there's the other viewpoints as far as politics you discuss with biological adults or individuals who have the capacity in comparison to at an elementary school, in my opinion, because your job in an elementary school is to actually go over the school curriculum in comparison. So, you know, science, arithmetic, history, social studies, art, gym, those are school subjects in comparison to politics, in my opinion. So, I hope that my official YouTube video, sermon, monologue, lecture, however you view it, assists in this particular set of factors for those combined metaphors of symbolic references, because obviously, you have to be capable to bring certain um, viewpoints into an understanding from the knowledge, in my opinion. And while some people might have whatever viewpoint of their opinion in comparison to the intellectual capacities to actually process the information, so for example, from the year of 2019 through the year of 2022, and having explained through my journal blog, the Ornery PSA on my website, www.susanmeeling.com, the same as www.ladydorybell.com, I've obviously known what year it is. Obviously. I mean, unless there's those similar situations from beforehand that, well, then those people would bring forward the proof as to what I had dealt with from the years of 2000 to 2013 in that hypothetical. And so those particular factors, being capable to bring those patterns of behavior forward to show in those references as to those hypothetical situations, to that correlating link as to the Uvalde situation, because obviously I can't be the only person who has had certain situations. And depending on the internal strength of an individual's character in comparison to their reputation, depends on the capacities of. And so in those particular references for those clarifications and verifications, because again, there is the fact that I was born and raised in New Jersey. And in the area that I was born and raised in New Jersey, those clarifications and verifications would be mandatory because of any hypothetical situations in regards of and so in the ways to bring that forward regarding the attacks that occurred on the 11th of September in 2001, obviously anybody who has actual intelligence and actual common sense would see the viability of the importance to bring that forward because of the details in reference to my childhood and my teenage years to bring that set of situations into a clearer view as to that time frame, because anybody who wouldn't be capable to see that, well then what would the mental health status be? And that reference point regarding each and every individual that may have had an issue with that because obviously people who would have common sense since I did discuss it in person, face to face, in person throughout the years, as well as in reference to my book, Finding a Silver Lining, which again, you can go to my book section on my website, www.susanmeeling.com. Yes, also known as www.ladydorybell.com. Those particular situations for those clarifications would be obviously important. Similarly to that situation regarding those three soldiers in regards to Major General Gilman's office, that capacity to audibly ver verbalize the situations to discuss for the betterment to progress forward 
in comparison in that hypothetical of. So you guys have a good day. Again, today is the 26th of May, 2022. In conjunction, really quickly, if there were any situations regarding my son and or my daughter because of my ex-in-laws in reference to their need to accept the reality of what the Chief Warrant Officer Tree from the Army branch regarding the J.C. Penney portraits compared to the pictures that they took during that funeral. That is something those people need to take responsibility for because that's their accountability for their stupidity as to any needless problems they caused my son and my daughter because of their problems regarding the fact that Despite the lack of the legal situation regarding the divorce, it was still the second and final separation. So, their particular mental health issues regarding my ex-in-laws and that hypothetical would be important in addition to take into consideration. You guys have a good day. Again, today is the 26th of May, 2022, and once more, my condolences to the Uvalde, Texas area. Today is Thursday, May 26th, 2022, though if you're accustomed to military time writing, it's always going to be the date first, then the month and then the year. Civilians don't necessarily know that, I know, but that's the way it is. You guys have a good day.